Alright. Hey guys, it's Nickcast here with another video, but today is going to be different because I am with my friend Robert, aka Blogger Junkies, and he is, well, he's he's pretty cool and he needs to introduce himself before I kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting, oh shit. Hi. Hi. Yes, I exist. I'm Blogger Junkies, aka Robert Griffin. Um, what's going on, guys? Yes. So, today, I'm just going to be, uh... I'm, we're gonna be pod, like, it's gonna be about a podcast, so we're gonna just be, you know, talking about whatever the hell we want, <laughs> so, yeah. So, okay, I need to tell you a story, Robert, I need to tell you something. Okay, that's alright. Okay, so, there, you know the video, the video I posted, it was the Happy Wheels one that I just barely posted yesterday. Oh, yeah. And so, um, I, that was requested by Emily, I don't know if you know who Emily is. From Rogers, sounds familiar. Well, she's like she's pretty cool. Like she likes anime and she loves video games and she watches Markiplier and oh Jack. yeah yeah Emily. yeah yeah. Ah. So she's she's pretty cool and so she requested like a game that I play uh that I play Happy Wheels and I'm like I should probably listen to this and it would because you know she means a lot and so mm. I'm like hmm so I should play this and so I started playing it, it was the the most amazing thing. Because like I loved playing it and I recorded it, then you know uploaded the thing, and then Emily watched it and she just straight up texted me and said, "Oh my god, I'm crying right now." She's like, "You didn't have to play it." I'm like, "Yeah, um, I wanted to." <laughs> and so she was like, "No, she was literally crying. Like she recorded her voice. She was literally crying." Dude, you know what this means? What does it mean? You got a wife. No, <laughs> I, I mean one like. Fan. Yeah, like, I mean, she was literally crying, and it made me feel like, like, I you call it, like, I don't know, like, I finally <laughs> touched someone. <laughs> but, she, like, um, adjusting the mic real quick. Ah. No, no, that's cool. So, yeah, that was, like, pretty amazing, and it just makes me, like, from where I started, even though I, I'm still starting, like, uh -huh. to be honest, I only, I only have, I have 22 videos, yeah, but... I'm like barely starting and I only have like 28 subscribers but uh more than I got <laughs> well you actually got you actually got a pretty you you actually got subscribers I saw you have mm. nine subscribers but I mean when we first started you only had like two or three yeah true but anyways the point being so Emily was crying you actually got more subscribers going on yeah. YouTube's going great so tell me more. What, what else is going on with life? Yeah, you, YouTube is just like I just wanted to let you guys all know out there that you guys mean so much to me. Even though I am not the most significant person in the world, like, <laughs> like I mean, I'm just I I uh, I don't know what to say. I'm just I'm just a person, and people just watch my videos and take time out of their day to watch it. It doesn't matter if it's only half. Like if they watch it, only you know. Only a little bit or whatever, but it still means a lot. But anyway, Robert, how about you? What's going on with your face? With my face, it is going on Pornhub.com. Yes. And I'm I'm going to explode all my monkey jizz. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, with me, I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> Tired as that? always. Uh. Yeah. And. I'm just really chilling. I, I really don't have a whole lot going on with life. Um, I've been reading a lot lately. Yes. Recently, I recently made the uh, book blog, and I'm going to be posting that tomorrow. Um, I've been broadcasting a lot on Twitch, and that's really about it. Just kind of chilling and gaming and reading. Uh, not a whole lot going on with me. Me and Cassie are going off great. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. That's good. What do you think about that? Okay, so if you guys don't know, me and Robert go to the same school, and so we're we're pretty tight. We we we're like brothers. So I, I'm brown though; he's white. So we're like the yeah. <laughs> but, Nutella and white chocolate. Yes, like like if you put it into a sandwich, he I'm like the Nutella, and he's like the white chocolate. It, it's probably the we're we're like the diabetes uh, <laughs> diabetes sandwich. <laughs> Hi, love us, so we can murder you slowly. Yes. And cause you lots of money and medication. Yeah. yeah that's, that is true, though. That's true. 
But uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, so we go to the same school, and we recently read a book named Night by, I think it was Ellie some, some, Ellie Weasel or yeah. something like that. I just I just did the book blog on him. Oh, my God. I can't remember his name. What the fuck? It's Ellie Weasel, I think. Yeah. What do you think about that book? Because it's, well, everything I think about it is just pretty much in the video from earlier, but... Um, it's pretty much, it's a really great book, uh, really emotionally touching. It's, if you're someone who loves the um, history, or historical fact about World War Two or World War One, I, I mean, World War Two. my God, I can't think. I mean, you should definitely get a hold of this book. If you are majoring in history, you should definitely read this book. If you're a history teacher, I suggest you read this book. But one thing you have to do, though, is that when you read this, you have to be mature about it. You have to actually focus on what's being said. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of the things inside this book are very poetic or uh, metaphorical. Well, but also, the book is about a kid, the, uh, the Ellie Weasel as a kid. When he was 15 years old and he went through the Holocaust, he's a Jew. And it was just really emotionally touching. But when I say emotionally touching, I don't mean like a good emotionally touching. I think actually it's really sad. It is a very horrific and brutal book. Um, there's a lot of death, a lot of blood. And if you feel like you can't handle that, I suggest you don't read this book whatsoever. But if you can handle that and you want a good read, I highly suggest pick it up. You can probably read it within a week. I read it within a week. Um, it's it's a great read. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. If you guys want to know more about that book and you know more uh, descriptive, de like what do you call um a more in depth kind of review. There's a video on Robert's channel. It's Blogger Junkies. So if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the description. Well, his channel will be in the description because I don't think it'd be fair for me to put a video and then not do his channel. So That's all cool. It's all good. <laughs> oh, crap. Was... I am not good at this game. I'm literally dying. I haven't played this game in forever. You playing TF2? Yes. I can't play this game anymore. I swear. <laughs> I'm I can't play a computer game without a mouse. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So if you guys don't know, all the videos that I've of uploaded and all those, I've played with a trackpad, and so I've actually never had a I've never had a mouse as long as I had this computer, which is two years, and I've never had a mouse for this computer. So all the games I'm playing and have shown that I'm playing are on trackpad, which is, uh. But to other people, it's crazy because they're just like, you don't even have a mouse. Like, how do you even play? I'm like, I play with my penis. Oh, and yes. <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it, you know, it's just kind of different. But yeah, yeah. But what do you what do you want to talk about? This is a podcast of whatever whatever we want. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still like sleep deprived, so I'm still trying to think and focus. <laughs> uh, let me think. Uh, hmm. What's been going on lately? Oh, I'm getting my permits real soon. Nice. And so, with that, I'll be able to finally get us going, and I'll finally be able to leave and move and do stuff. Get a job, so more things will happen then. Yeah. Um. Oh, guess what? What? what I is can't. This? You know how I was expecting to go to take a college class next year? Yeah. Well, I'm not doing that. Want to know why? Why? Be because whenever I got up there to do my testing, right? Yeah. After the test, I was told that my reading score was um, possible for me to take some science courses. Yeah. Because all, all science courses, it's just pretty much, can you read this and understand it and be able to take knowledge from it? Yeah. That's a lot of what science courses are. And so, yeah, I was able to do that. And because of that, I, I was going to go on the thing. But apparently, I couldn't because they're saying that my score in writing was way too low and that my score in math was way too low so because of that I, after they told me I could go and everything they said nope can't go fuck you so they pretty oh, much wow. just like after I asked them and I looked in forms and I actually took the test again what would you what they said to me what fuck you they didn't literally <laughs> say that but they pretty much said that 
said, oh, I'm sorry, you're not good enough. Just like, oh, well, gee, thanks. I appreciate the confidence. You know, you need to just go up to them and tell them that you're going to burn their house down with <laughs> with some stuff that you found in your dad's garage. Here, take my box full of paper porn. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Paper porn? I mean, porn magazine. What do you call? It? There was I. I literally had a conversation with someone. I think it was you or someone else. What we were talking, and I think it was like they're just like you better get all that porn out of your garage because your mom's gonna burn every single one of it, and it's gonna make you cry. And I'm like, what is this? What is my life becoming? <laughs> like I swear, I don't know who said that. I think it was. It, I don't know. I don't remember saying that anything like. That. I know I talk about porn. I know I say stuff about porn. I know I make sexual jokes. I don't remember saying that one. But it does sound like something I would say. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ew. Oh, I finally killed somebody. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, this whole this whole time I haven't killed anyone. <laughs> Just slowly talking. Oh, I killed someone. Oh. Yes, I finally killed somebody. Like, oh, well, uh, okay. Um, okay. Jesus. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, I got sniped in the face by a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. Oh, my goodness. Somebody named their shotgun Kurt Cobain stick. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best thing ever. Why didn't I think of that? You do get that reference, right? Oh yeah, I get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad reference, but it's... For those of y'all who don't know, Kurt Cobain was leader of Nirvana, and Nirvana committed suicide with a shotgun to the head. Not Nirvana, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain, yeah, he was... He was the leader of Nirvana. He was the lead singer of Nirvana. Yeah. And guitarist, right? He did play guitar, but on- yeah. 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 And I-, I was watching the South Park episode, and there was like a, the the go. It was like, a, what do you call The Go Screw Yourself Holiday Special. Oh my god. And <laughs> it showed the, the Kurt Cobain hologram, and he had a <laughs> shotgun. He was just singing all around with a sweater. He's like, up on the roof, top sand, something like that. And he's just like, it, it, it's amazing. And what do you call it? He, he just goes and puts the shotgun, and then he he shoots it, but it says BAM, and it says Happy Christmas or <laughs> Merry Christmas or something. It's amazing. You know what would be funny? What would be funny? These nuts. If, yes, that, and because they're so small, but, um, oh my god, my nose is bleeding. Is it? Yeah. Dang it, what are you doing to yourself? I, it's, I don't know. You don't know what you're doing? I didn't know it was that kinky. God damn. Damn. Damn, son, where'd you find that? Anyways, it'd be kind of funny if we could actually get all all feminists who think that men are pigs, we could get them all up and say, hey, you're not feminist, you're misogynist, oh and goodness. watch them rage. <laughs> okay, can you please fill me in, because I'm stupid. What is misogynist? Misogynist, okay. This is what feminism is. Feminism is actual equal right between sexism, sex, mm-hmm. sex people. Yes. No matter if you're female or male, whether if it gives you benefits or not. Yeah. Yeah. Misogynist is men are all pigs. All they want is sex. They're greedy, and that's what they want. You hold the door open for me. You think I can't do it? You don't hold the door for me. Oh, you're so rude and mean. Oh yeah. That's what I know people is. like that. A that's lot of people like that. They're sexist people. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the way. Okay, so it's okay. So we had a conversation uh, around two weeks ago about nudes, right? Oh yeah. And, and we were like, "What are your thoughts on nudes?" To be professional, you know, not we, we were saying our own opinions. And my opinion is that you know I don't mind doing it. I don't mind. I don't mind. You know, what do you call um. <laughs> getting them, I, I guess nobody really minds getting them unless you you don't like getting them, I guess. But we were just saying that, and it, you know, if 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 you don't like sending it, it's cool. If you like sending it, it's cool. I mean, 
uh, that was my thoughts, and we all had our thoughts on it. And just to, to make a long story short, um, it kind of got. We were just kind of. Where, where am I going with the story? Um, we were, we were. We were kind of just all sitting there. The topic was that why do people shame the naked body, and it went from that to nudes and. My, our opinion, my opinion, pretty much the same as Nathan's. Mine's just more of more open. Yeah. Um, it's more of across the lines to make sure that people want it before they can, and it, it, I think it had to be a really close person, like to make sure, you know. Yeah. And if you sent someone to someone and they didn't want it. You could, I mean, yeah, people would block him probably, or her, block yeah. him or her. Or the person could politely say, hey, I don't like nudes, right? Yeah. And then the other person could politely stop. If the person does not politely stop, you can easily block him or even find him for sexual harassment. Oh, yeah. Now, or her. Yeah. Now it can be the other way around too, and it can be to where the person actually liked it and they were okay with it, and they're sending you them back. Now it would be okay to send someone a nude if, like, the object was specifically to look at something, not sexually, but hey, how do you think I look? Or hey, do I look fat? Or hey, do I look this or this? And to do it as in to help as a confidence booster, more as a sexual attraction. Oh yeah, I you know because most most no I'm not gonna say most some people view people's bodies as just a sexual object. I'm not saying all people. I'm mm-hmm. not even saying most people. I'm just saying there's that one there's that percentage of people that just view it as sexually. But like Robert's saying, it's not always like that. Like sometimes you know you have to have more. You have to mm-hmm. uh, look at it a different way. Like. Like you, you told me that kind of like art. Oh uh, yeah, like it's it's, um, it's a beautiful. It's you know the body is a beautiful thing. It's a very complex thing, you know. And it's I'm pretty sure Leonardo DiCaprio, whoever wrote drew the painting, did not paint it so he can jerk off to it. Oh yeah, no, no. I, <laughs> <laughs> you're just like the, the people. Oh. Like, they're just like, oh yes, my painting is done. Now to pleasure myself. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, like I don't think anybody does that. I mean, I'm not saying maybe they did do that, maybe they didn't, but you know, but uh, okay, we're not saying okay. I'm gonna put this here. We're, we're gonna we're gonna say this out here. So we're not telling you guys to send nudes or you know because of course that is also breaking the law. Uh, it can Consider be because we're both underage. Yeah, it can be considered child pornography. And so, yeah, don't, don't get, we're, we're, we're not condoning the, oh, crap, no, I'm killing people who don't deserve to be killed. Anyway, sorry, uh, we're not condoning that you do it, and we're not saying that, we're not saying with that ourselves, you know, we, yeah. but, you know, we're just putting it out there just as a, you know. Yeah. But... It can be considered a federal offense, and you can be in jail. It really can be. <laughs> no. It, okay, like, we're going to have to put a disclaimer before the video saying, disclaimer, we do not condone on child pornography. We do not condone sexual rape. We don't condone on harassment or drugging. We don't condone on sexual nudity. We condone humanity. <laughs> yes, we are humanists. <laughs> well, I'm a humanist. <laughs> you want to fight? <laughs> Uh, let's do it. I already have my Care Bears. Oh, if Victoria's God. Secret girls can suck my dick. You, you know, I bet they would. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a horrible person. <laughs> you are not a horrible person. We just have a very complex mind. Such a dark humor. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Dark humor. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, um, my, okay, so I have, like, a whole, like, kind of top YouTubers, everybody has their top YouTubers, and so, on my very first, my very, like, my number one top YouTuber is Markiplier, of course, because, you know, he's kind of inspired me to do what I'm doing, and, you know, just be myself, second is Jacksepticeye, because, you know, he, he, 
he's really he doesn't view people as just viewers who view your videos he actually he actually sees you as a person and as an individual and he actually just you know jack has a special way of doing things jack said the guy and third would have to be leafy is here <laughs> okay so if, if you guys don't know who leafy is here leafy is here is a uh he, he i guess you would say he's a reaction channel right He's the channel that will find something and tell you his honest opinion about it. And, and he's most not, of the time, yeah. his honest opinion about it is funny as hell. Oh yeah, he's not he's not afraid to say what he really wants to say. I mean, he I I, I the reason why I love him is because he's his sense of dark humor and also you know he kind of crosses that line, but yet yeah, it's really funny. It doesn't really offend you. It kind of you know. Well, I certainly offended Dark Six Six Six. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so he does <laughs> offend some people, but you know, it's it's uh, that's like you know, but Leafy is here. Is it, dark humor is it's 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 a work of art. <laughs> like he literally just every video, he's just like, guys, guys, I I I, I gotta fucking kill myself. I'm like, oh, um, okay. Okay. I used a rope or a gun. <laughs> yeah, he literally <laughs> went into de- he literally went into detail. He's just like, oh, nah, nah, a gun would be too messy, you know. Overdose. I don't want to have like a freaking seizure uh, before I oh. die. And I'm just like, okay, wait a second. <laughs> I'd just like to say that we do not condone suicide or self harming. Oh no, no, that that yeah, is yeah. serious Me subject. And Nathan, well. Yeah, me and Nathan personally had some stuff like that, but oh, yeah. it's not okay, but, you know, we still joke around with it, because it's a form, for me, it's a form of, you know, getting over it. Release, kind of like, it's kind of like a form of forgetting what happened, and just knowing that you made it through, kind of thing. Yeah. But, um, it's- yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I want to say something. And Robert, you can say stuff on this too if you want. But um, so you know that I'm not okay. So you guys don't know me really well, and I want you guys. I guys want. I got. I want you guys to know who I really am, and what I like to do, and you know, kind of like who I am as a person, not as a YouTuber or as a you know, guy behind a screen. But uh, so I'm not. I'm not really a perfect person at all i've done mistakes everybody has and i've been through i can i can always say that i've been through hell but everybody has their own form of hell Mm -hmm. and so um i'm not to be honest i'm not really popular at all like i mean i try to make friends and i can't make friends i mean i'm lucky to have robert because you know he he actually accepted me for who i am because not many people do it and you know they find me weird or they find me grotesque or whatever but uh I, i'm not really grotesque. i'm not really uh i'm not really a popular person you know I, I actually made this youtube channel to you know just do share with you guys what i like doing and you guys all know it's video gaming or it's gaming short but um i i've been through a lot of things but that isn't that you know um if you if if any of you viewers out there are going through a lot of things and you guys think that suicide is the only answer or cutting yourself or doing all that stuff is your only way out or your only way for comfort that is a lie it's a really big lie mhm cuz well, um, yeah you're right. what you're doing what you're doing is that you're saying right now i'm hurting right now this sucks Right now, life is hell. Well, you know what? Yeah, no fucking shit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's fucking hell. But guess what? Pain subsides. It may last a minute. It may last an hour. It may last a day or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. So don't sit there on your ass and complain about it. Get up and do something about it. Because eventually, it will subside. Eventually, it will get better. Sure. So you're already hurting, so get up and get a reward from it. Don't sit there and waste your life because what you're doing is that you're 
you're not fixing the problem. You're ending every solution to fix the problem. Oh yeah, you're you're just long. You're just longering the pain. You know, you're not getting up there and trying to. You see, not many people. Not many people. Uh, what do you call? There for me. For me personally, I'm not. Uh, well, what do I want to say? Um, I usually am afraid to fr- try new stuff. You know, I don't know what it, what I'm. When I was depressed, I didn't know what to do. You know, I didn't want to do anything. But I'm telling you guys now that if you do something, it will get better. Find what you like doing. If it's video gaming, if it's watching fashion videos, if it's, you know, blogging, if it's YouTubing, if it's, I don't know, swimming. Supporting Donald Trump. If, if it, yeah, if it's cheering on Donald Trump, do it. Do what makes you happy because it actually, it actually it helps a lot. And, you know... If you're going through a lot right now, just know that I'm on your side and I've been through there. And if you guys ever want to message me or anything, you know, I'm here because I, I've i been I've been through mm. what you guys are going through right now. Or maybe I don't know what you guys are going through, but still. And I know Robert's the same way because, you know, he helped me through a lot. But. Yeah, it's just... There's my my favorite quote, and I'm gonna have it tattooed whenever I have the money. My favorite quote is, "Time has one rule: move forward." Yeah. And I try to live by that quote the best I can. And it's just, I'm I'm same with Nathan here, really. If yeah, me and Nathan have been through some really fucking shit, and we get it, so we can relate. If you ever need help message Nathan or whoever um you know what Nathan whenever we make this video I'm going to link a description or a number to a hotline for other people who may need it oh yeah yeah That's so cool. yeah I'm gonna do that I'll fix that up but uh yeah we just wanted you guys to know that we're here for you guys we we're not very far we're not popular we're not we're not you know we're not the the most the most handsome people in the world. I mean, Robert, though, he's a model, nah. so... <laughs> nah, fuck that. Nah. We all know that's a lie. That's a massive lie. That's a, no. that's a truck I mean, full of lies. We're, all, we're not the most... You know, we're not, we're not like, like, models, and, you know, we're not... You know, we're... we're, we're how am I going to say this? Um, you know, we're just here for you guys. Every one of my viewers, I love all of you, and I want you guys all to have a good day, and... All, you know, I just want you guys to have a good life, you know, and even if it's, if, you know, whatever makes you smile, just do it. And I know Robert, again, is the same way, because I know he, because, he, he, okay, Robert, he cha- he tried his best to try to organize everything for his channel, and I, f- and, you know, I respect that a lot, because if, if YouTube didn't mean anything to me, he wouldn't have done what he was doing, and right now he kind of organized what he was doing, gaming for Twitch, right? Am I right? Yeah, uh, we're doing gaming for Twitch and YouTube for blogging right now. Um, it's it's getting there. Yeah, but you're you're trying, you're trying, not you're trying, and that's the good thing, you know. He cares about his viewers, and I care about my viewers as well. And to end this whole, uh, what do you call him? Uh, the this whole uh, speech, <laughs> uh, we just we like just long story short. We guys we care about every single one of you, and we're just as we're just people. We're all people in the world, and we're all given life. And sometimes we don't know what the heck to do with it, mm-hmm. honestly. But yeah, but to get off, you know, not get off the subject, but change subjects. What do you want to talk about, Robert? Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm still trying to get my mind wrapped around shit. Um, let's talk about movies. Well, have you watched anything lately? Or is there anything you're waiting to see? Um, I've actually, I actually want to see the Deadpool movie. Um, I still haven't watched it, and it's not because it's Deadpool. Like, you know, yes, it is because it's Deadpool. I, I've known, I've known, um. I've I've known dead I've known Deadpool through like comics and you know 
I, I've known what he was capable of and all like you know he was one of my super he was one of my favorite superheroes because he was the first I think the first to break the fourth wall in comic books yeah. and the funny thing is is I love how sarcastic he is and I love how just you know he's just he he's full of he's so sarcastic he's so relatable and the funny thing is there's like really cool easter eggs like he knows he has a wiki page he knows he's in a comic and he actually tells the audience that Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I'm just so excited that they actually made a movie, and they actually did pick the perfect actor. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the one comic strip where he just suddenly stops, he looks out, he's like, you know what really irks me? No. I do this just <laughs> to entertain you guys. And he gets hit by a trunk or something. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's amazing. I love. I just love the way he just talks to the people, even though it's through paper. That's the, that's the cool thing. Yeah. But, he's a great guy. He, he, yeah, he's he's a pretty good guy, you know. Me and him went walking with our dogs, <laughs> you know. <laughs> he he had a I kill was a dog. People. Yes, I was a dog. They were walking. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's also a new movie coming out. I think it's uh, Batman versus Superman or Batman or something like that. Oh, uh, right? Batman versus Superman. Yeah, that's coming out. And um, what's his name? Brett is really excited about oh, that yeah. one. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a major DC fan. Oh yeah. So like, there, there's oh, you you wanna hmm? you wanna no. talk? I wasn't say anything after that. Yeah. <laughs> so there's this kid in our class named Brett. He's really quiet. Like he's really quiet. But once you get to know him, he's he's pretty cool. You know, he's he's a I say a matter of few words. Um, he doesn't really talk, but he is. Obs- you can tell that he's he's obsessed with uh, you know. Superheroes and comics. And brilliant stuff. man. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna, like, have you seen this guy? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, this is the best way I can explain Brett. Brett is the one guy in class who is really chill, has muscles, knows about cars, and is also a massive DC nerd. But he is extremely handsome, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. And, <laughs> um, extremely intelligent. Like, we talk, we, whenever we're, I'm in a group with him, I'm just amazed every time he has something to say. And whenever he does say something, the entire class goes fucking silent. Oh, yeah, because he, he never talks. Like, yes, he talks in groups and when he has to, but, I mean, he, he actually does never talks. Like, people just don't know who he really is, and it's kind of making, like, 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 you know, like, that kid that never talks, and then all of a sudden, so he talks, and everyone's just like, shh, 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 he's talking. <laughs> he's like, he's saying words. <laughs> there was, there was this kid I knew, I didn't know him, like, I was roomied with him whenever I was in the thingy, the, um, Springwoods, you know what that is? Oh, yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, when I, when I was there, there was this kid I was roomated with quietest fucking kid ever and he was so chill he kind of scared of spiders mm-hmm. but anyway the one day he talked it was during a game we were playing a game we were playing um like who yep. would or what would oh right? yeah yeah and he said if you had one wish, what would it be and he got to everyone they got to him and the entire group was silent what well, his one line that i actually ever heard him say if one line was, I wish I was black. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the best. The entire fucking room died. <laughs> I would I would have died. I would have there, right there, would have been my grave. I would have just like, you know, nope. Nope. I, I don't know what his name was. I wish I remembered it, but I loved this kid. He was great. Yeah. And if you guys don't know what Springwoods is, it's... Uh, I don't know if I should mention it's, it. Uh, it's for the most part, it's it's a mental asylum, pretty much. It's it's a mental hospital, pretty yes. much. Yes, and me and Robert have been to it. Like we said, we've been through a lot of stuff. So yeah. But but, anyways, we passed that topic. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I just that's a topic. I I speak of it once, and I'm done for the day. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish I was black. You know why? <laughs> so then I can just go and say I'll walk bar to everybody I want and not get judged for it. Oh, uh, 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Or or, or or racist comment and podcast. Or I want to say, what do you call them? I, or I want to, uh, what do you call? Or I want to be black to just say this one line. Where's my super suit? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're making an incredible too. I know, and they're making a finding uh, Dorothy, right? Yeah, and they're also believe Toy it or Story not, f- they're making a Toy Story four. Oh my gosh, I'm more excited that like there's kids who just. Kids nowadays are not gonna know how much those movies were like. They were the yeah. they were the bomb. Like I meant, they were the bomb dig. I'm going to be the twenty year old walking through the front line, bitch stopping kids and move your fucking ass. I've been sitting here for twelve fucking years for this shit. Get your ass out of the way. But how about <laughs> how about people waiting for Half Life Three? Oh, oh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be fucking hell right there. <laughs> You're talking about a game. That's gonna get pre-ordered so much, it's not gonna be given stocks for two months or three months. Well, the thing is, I, I heard that they had an announcement that they weren't gonna do it. They had an announcement that Half-Life 3 was gonna come out, but then something happened, and I think it's back on again. But then again, it, well, there have been multiple trolls of saying it's been confirmed, and then it hasn't been confirmed. Ah. Uh. But th- that is a game that, like, once it gets out, if it does ever get out, that things the 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 Earth is gonna stop. Literally, <laughs> people yeah. have been waiting for that game for how long? Um, I shouldn't know. This. Let me think. Let me let me look it up. When did fucking Half Life Two come out? It came out when my when I came out of the womb. I was I came out I came out of the womb with a Nintendo a Super Nintendo controller, it's like stuck to my to my butt, and I was trying to get out of my mother's room. And once I did, I knew that my destiny was to play video games. Let me think. It's 2016, right? Huh? So it's 2016, right? Yeah, yeah, 2016. So if what you're saying is true, you're 12 years old. Dang it. <laughs> Anyways, I am an awesome twelve year old. You leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, Half Life Two came out in twenty uh, two thousand four. Oh wow! So that's around twelve, 12 years. Years. Uh, people people have been waiting. waiting. Huh? Like I said people have been waiting for twelve freaking years for this game. Huh. Have you seen the people who speed run Half Life? I Fuck think God. I think I have one. There's a guy who beat Half Life One in like twelve minutes. For real? How I that think is- so. Let me. I, mean, I think it was twelve minutes. One second, let me look. I think it was twelve minutes. The world record speed run. I swear, this guy had played this game since the day it came out. Hmm. Just like me in Grand Theft Auto Five. Alright. World. Oh my god, I typed in sword. World. <laughs> record. Half Life. Two. I should search up but, the most but, used word in the dictionary. Oh, the walk bar. I'm playing. <laughs> I, I said that. I say that in my videos nowadays. Oh, it's 22 oh. minutes, never mind. 22 minutes? That's still amazing. Yeah, it is, though. I actually watched it. It was like fucking crazy. This guy was like glitching through walls and shit. <laughs> Glitches nowadays, man. No, no, it was worse back then. I don't know what you're talking about nowadays. So, yeah, well, yeah, it was way worse nowadays. But no, not nowadays. Way it worse was back. way worse back then. There's a way to completely beat Pokemon, uh, like red, uh, red, blue, green, and yellow. There is actually a way to beat all of Pokemon, complete the Pokédex 100%, yes, yes. and have the one glitch Pokemon, and just all of it, right? Yeah. In less than three minutes. Is that is the, is this is this real life? Yeah, this is real. There's a glitch that can do this in less than three minutes. It, it deals with going in and out of a house... And then back in, then pausing, and then saving, then deleting, then saving back. Yeah. And what it does is that it co- it screws up the game, and it makes it think that it's saving on a previous server. Ah. Uh. And so it reverses itself, and since it can't find the server, 
it just like completely glitches out and then comes back in to where you go through the door, right, of the house that you were just in, and you're at the ending Pokemon battle. You just beat it. It's the ending text for it, yeah. and your Pokédex is completely completed. Wow. That sounds like... Oh, God. You just broke in my face. <laughs> I've broken the face. Well, guys, I'm going to end this podcast here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, I am with Robert, a.k.a. Blogger Junkies. I will leave uh, his. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. You guys should really check him out if you guys like books or you guys just like blogs or you guys want to get to know him. He's a pretty cool dude, so you guys should know him. You guys should get to know him. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you. In the next video, uh, Nady cast out and Robert. Do you want Peace to? Peace out, guys. All right. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. Peace out.